So Lakis looks like he's now for the final stretch or Lipiakos is number one keeper. What do you think about that, Martial, like on your side? It lacks uh, explanation from the club uh, because you they're just... faking the injury. They're like, oh, he's injured. He I don't think he's, he's injured. He's not injured, man. He is... got called up to the national team. <laughs> It's. Uh, I do appreciate Solakis having a stint of games to prove he can play. I assume it has to be about the contract that is handing. It's uh, very weird the way it has been done. Like you just renew your goalkeeper, and Pasalakis has been very consistent since since he came to the club. And then you just start someone that hasn't been playing the whole season, not even in the cup, and. I don't know. It just makes no sense, but it has been quite good, I have to say, both in the in Europe, in Europe and the in playoffs. So may, maybe it's also Mendeleba that prefers Solakis in the build-up. I think Mendeleba. Maybe he blames some of the problems in organizing the defense and coming out on Pascal Lux. I don't know if that's like the correct reading. I don't think he would ever admit it. But you have this sort of feeling that maybe it's one of two things, like you said, Martial. It's like either this contract situation where Tolex has said either I need to start playing or I'm leaving at the end of the year. Or Menti Libar and his coaches have done an analysis where they say Pascal Lucky's lack of action coming out of the box, his inability to organize our defense has cost us a lot of important goals. Let's try Tolakis out. And he's done well and the defense has been can we say we've we've looked a bit better since he's come in organizationally, defensively? So maybe those are the two things to me. Either this is like a behind the scenes, Joe Lackey's forcing his way in, or Mendy Libar and his staff said, look, some of this shit, some of our shit defensively is coming from the goalkeeper, not organizing the team, not stepping up and not being vocal. I don't know. He, he may, Maybe he did this analysis, maybe whatever one of his assistants did. And they said, let's give Joe Lackey's a chance. Costa, what is your opinion on this? That's my idea. It's like maybe there was an analysis done and they said, wait a second, the goalkeeper needs changing. One thing's for sure is that Zolagis' return to the to the lineup has also been at the same time as um, the return of the goalkeeping coach, Agro Yanis. I think that's that's no coincidence there in, in, in the timing. I think Agro Yanis leaving in the summer was an important factor in uh, Dolagis' confidence. I, I think if you if you watch the game against Maccabi, uh, if you saw Agroyanis talking to Dolagis throughout the game, like encouraging him from, from the touchline, there was communication between the goalkeeping coach and, and Dolagis. And I think that, that relationship is really important. Let's not forget, we're talking about a kid. Like, I think he's 20, 21 now. And this is a player that's been getting first team opportunities with us since since he was 17 like going to preseason games and you know the question here up on the banner is is he finally ready for number 1 i think that by the end of this season that question should be answered from my part i think that yes there is a organizational aspect he has a, a different kind of demeanor to, to Pascal Akis. Pascal Akis is kind of a wild, eccentric goalkeeper who make a big save. He's been a savior for us in, in some games. Mainly last season, he's put in some incredible goalkeeping performances. Zolagis, on the other hand, he's not, he's not the eccentric type. He's a bit more kind of level-headed at the back. And I think he can see, the, like even on, on the young shoulders that he has, he can see the game quite clearly and, and calmly from the back and he can organise the defence pretty well, even at his age. And and also just looking back over time, the things that he's improved, he's improved his play with the ball at his feet. And I think this is one of the key differences with Pascal Agis as well, is that Zolakis right now is better with the ball at his feet. His distribution has improved as well. So it's not just, it's, it's the ball control and the distribution that's better and it's faster and that's what Spanish coaches want. He's not punching the ball as much. You'd see a cross come in and all of a sudden Zolagas would come out with, with one fist or like two fists like that. He's he's cleaner when he's coming out. And and also, I think he's really adopted this sweeper keeper approach. He'll come off his line if you know if there's a ball that's coming over the top and it's outside his box and the, the defender's out of place, he'll run and he'll 
make a sweeping tackle and clear the ball. We saw that against Ike, where he took a risk against Levi Garcia and stopped a dangerous attack. He did it again today a couple of times. So like we've talked about this this keeper as as someone with potential. He's even been listed in in magazines and you know by by football scouts as a top ten young goalkeepers in Europe, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And I think that like we're seeing some of that develop over time. The question is, like, do we have the maturity and the patience to stick with him when he makes the mistake? And that's why I say that at the end of this season, we should be able to answer the question, is he finally ready to take the number one spot and take the gloves home and be our keeper going into the Conference League qualifiers or even Champions League qualifiers next season? And do we have that confidence in him? We'll find out at the end of the season. That's what I think. The, the yeah. funny thing is that we've put the, the club has put its confidence on players that has so bad compared to Tulakis. I won't list all of them, but we've played European games, like massive games, with players that are so poor compared to Tulakis. So the club has to take the risk. Honestly, if you don't take the risk with Tulakis, well, you don't take it with anyone. It, it might cost us. Uh, but do, do you see, for example, what kind of goalkeeper would you want to see in Olympiacos? 